Yay. <laughs> I'm just so excited that we are able to gather on Zoom, even if, you know, we're not in Richardson making a huge noise with SPEM this year. Um, it is just super exciting to get to see all of your wonderful faces. Um, so I thought that we would take a couple of minutes just to tell you a bit about what the current Glee Club has been up to this strange, strange year. Um, we've gone through over a year without actually ever gathering as a group and making that whole wall of sound in McAlpin and Richardson. Um, and a whole year of students, all the first years, haven't even ever experienced that before. So we can't wait till we can finally do that again. Um, but we are happy to say that we've managed to keep this community together throughout it all. Um, because of course, as you all know, more than just singing together, the love that we have for all of each other is what this is really all about. And that's pretty clear from what we can see on the screen right now. Um, so I'd love to hand it over to our wonderful manager, Ishani Kulkarni, class of 2022, um, to tell us a little bit about the series that we held in the fall when we were really just trying to get our bearings, stay together, keep uh, learning. Um, so she'll tell us a little bit about that. Hi, thank you so much, Hannah. Um, so yes, this past fall, we had plenty of options for members to stay engaged in the community through a series of educational programs. The three programs that we had were called Transpose, Voicecraft, and Voice Lab. Through the Transpose series, we hosted incredible guests who shared their musical worlds with us through moving and educational presentations. Through our Voicecraft series, we engaged in workshops with more guests who taught us about extended vocal techniques, and our Voice Lab series gave us all an opportunity to develop our skills as musicians. So they were a great series of programs that really helped us stay engaged in Glee. Thanks, Ashani. Um, and now I wanted to hand it over to Catherine Keim, um, who will tell us a little bit more about some of the virtual choir projects and other singing that we got to do together this year. Yeah, thanks, Hannah. So although we unfortunately could not have our usual concert season this year, we tried to make the most of this by doing several virtual choir projects, which I'm sure you have seen from us and from various church choirs and just choirs across the world. Um, this was a way for us to sing together despite the distance. And we also took this opportunity to do fundraising for some wonderful organizations through our hand in hand concerts, which are joint virtual concerts with the Harvard and Yale Glee Clubs. At our first virtual concert with them, we were able to raise about $9,000 to support organizations that provide music exposure and training to youth that might not otherwise get such opportunities. And we're so excited to share our second hand in hand concert this Sunday, the 23rd at 5 p.m. And we look forward to having you there to enjoy some new pieces that we've worked on virtually um, while supporting our partner Education Through Music, which is a group that works with under-resourced schools to provide music as a core subject for all students. And you're welcome to check out our Facebook for more details about Sunday's concert or just reach out to Gabriel or an officer to get more information. And although we're chomping at the bit to return to singing in person with a full choir, um, we're really grateful for this opportunity to give back to the community. And we hope to see you at our la hopefully last virtual hurrah. Thank you, Kat. Yeah, it's been quite an interesting year, but we've really made the most of it in terms of the music making. Um, and now I wanted to hand it over to Corinna, um, who will tell us a little bit about the social worlds of Glee this year, which of course look different than usual. Yes, um, thank you, Hannah. So this year we tried to do as much as possible to keep the choir engaged with one another and a community thriving and continuing. So we did have some Zoom virtual events, such as um, there was an opera watch party hosted by our fearless leader, Hannah. Um, there was also a murder mystery night, a baking night where people would bake in their respective little Zoom boxes. Um, there was a, like a mafia night on Zoom. We also played Among Us for more recent game and trivia. We also created in the spring semester Glinners, which is where we created small pods of Glee students who would go and get dinners or lunches with one another to really meet in person since they didn't have that opportunity in the fall. 
Um, and then the other social chair, Marley, who unfortunately couldn't be here, she organized um, a big and little um, program where freshmen were paired with upperclassmen or sophomores, and they had the chance to kind of get a feel for what the community of Glee is like. We also um, wanted to take time this year to focus on new things that we could incorporate into Glee that we haven't in the past. So one example is we're trying to create Glee formals. So we could have like, like a fancy schmancy party with Glee. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Corinna and Sloan too. Um, it's been a lot of fun just trying to make the most of what we can do. Um, and yeah, so the last thing that I wanted to tell you a little bit about that was unique about this year um, was that we um, incorporated a new thing pods um, where every week for 30 minutes, a precious 30 minutes, um, as per the regulations, um, seven people were able to be in McAlpin at one time. And we had a really cool collaborative songbook um, where the pod themselves, totally self-directed, could kind of choose what they wanted to sing and work on it throughout the semester. Um, and that was a really, really cool experience to finally, for those who have, uh, those of us who are on campus, to just get back in the room singing together, even if it wasn't the full choir, just to have a little bit of that experience was really, really special. And we just appreciate it so much more when you know we've had such a long stretch of not being able to do that at all. Um, and so hopefully that can just bring us right into the next thing that we wanted to share with you, which is a little highlight reel. So I'll turn it over back to Emily um, to show you a little bit about what these pods were all about this year. Thanks so much, Hannah. Um, yeah, thanks so much. Uh, so I'm, I'm standing in in lieu for uh, our, one of our wonderful freshmen, Gabby Vestiana, who has been helping us make uh, these amazing little, recap videos and um, other sorts of social media publicity materials for us this year. She's really wonderful. Unfortunately, she couldn't be here today. So I'm going to be sharing um, a little video that she made just recapping what our pods were able to do this past semester. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> so thanks again to Gabby Vestiana uh, uh, for putting together this amazing video and helping us share a little bit about uh, a little bit of the music that we've been very lucky to make this past semester with you all. So at this point, um, we're going to invite some of our wonderful alumni to uh, come forward and share some fun memories of their time at Princeton. 
Uh, I know I sent you all the order, but due to a last minute change in logistical needs, we're actually going to be starting with Andrew Helber today. So let me find you and spotlight you for everybody. Yeah, talk so you can hear me and maybe put me to the front of the line. Um, hi guys, I'm Andrew. Uh, it's my fifth reunion. Super fun to be doing it from my living room, but um, what can you do? Uh, most people are probably like, what's this guy doing speaking? He can usually uh, go off the cannon and he was only a part-time glee climber. Yeah, uh, people are hitting me up in the chat. Um, but I actually think my experience was uh, very um, representative of kind of what the glee club was. So I started Princeton, I was on the swim team and I joined the Nassoons and I was like, I don't have time for anything else. Um, and I had this impression of Glee Club as, you know, a group that sings, you know, Gilbert and Sullivan not very well, and, you know, half the people aren't interested. Um, but then James Walsh, who was a year older than me, um, roped me in, and he's, he actually had to miss like six rehearsals in a row, so he used me as a bargaining chip to not get in trouble, um, because, um, <laughs> because you always need tenors, and I was a tenor, so I think every singer knows that they're the hottest commodity out there. Um, so I joined that spring and kind of my uh, misconceptions were changed and I absolutely loved my four years in there. Um, really was kind of an honor to meet all these people and learn a lot. Um, and really just to, like sing the great masterworks of, um, you know, Western music, you know, a Verdi Requiem with a full orchestra and a Bach B minor mass. And um, so, yeah, so it, it was a wonderful experience and I, I really felt welcome from the beginning, even though I was, you know, not an original member or, um, you know, a big, you know, big time singer or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, so that was my Glee Club experience. I, I, I probably have the honor of being one of the few people who never auditioned for the group. Um, Gabriel kept pushing it off and we both kept pushing it off. Um, but to my pleasure and to my despair, I had to um, stand, got to stand next to him during the Verdi Requiem. And there was always one part where I'd make a mistake and he would use his magic uh, perfect pitch powers and, and find out where I, I should have been. Um, so that was good. And it was great to have Emily here. I, I just graduated Penn Med School and she was here for um, a little bit working the Glee Club, which was great. Um, so yeah, so um, thanks for everyone. It was great. It's nice to meet you all virtually. And um, I am having some major speminalium withdrawal. I am one of the uh, one of the nerds for it and love it. So I, I look forward to doing it next year, hopefully. Um, go Tigers. Thanks so much, Andrew. Next up we have Halsey. Thanks, Emily. Um, and I just wanna thank uh, Gabriel for inviting me to do this. I mean, it brought back so many memories of the music and the camaraderie and the tour adventures, actually stretching back 70 years to before my time. That's what, uh, so Professor Nolner, you'll hear more about from other alumni. Um, he told a story of how when he was a young conductor, his first year at Williams College, even before he came to Princeton, he was introducing his glee club there to a, a varied repertoire, like what, what we sang. And the president of the glee club, who was a young man by the name of George Steinbrenner, yes, that George Steinbrenner, uh, came to give him some unsolicited advice. He said, Professor Nolner, me and the boys are okay with the football songs, but we don't know about this Bach guy. Now, fortunately, uh, Professor Nolner didn't take unsolicited, didn't actually accept the musical advice from George Steinbrenner. And so in my time at Princeton, I got to sing Bach, uh, the St. John Passion, got to sing an amazing performance of Servinci's Spajipka with the, the ballet staged. Um, but my favorite memory was of singing Josquin's Misa Pange Lingua. And that was the marquee piece for our, for our tour, our amazing summer European tour of 1985. And that tour took us through 10 countries, including behind the Iron Curtain to Czechoslovakia and Hungary over six and a half weeks. So we got to know each other very well. Um, we sang in Basilica San Marco and Chateau Cathedral before a large and enthusiastic crowd National Theater at Belgrade. Um, and it's just an incredible piece, um, as, as many of you probably know. Interestingly, the most memorable performance for me was, was one where it all came together. And that was one uh, in Dubrovnik on a, at a monastery on the quiet back streets back when Dubrovnik was, was much quieter. And I don't remember a large audience or any audience at all, but I do remember that it all came together. It came as close to perfection as we would ever attain. Uh, and it was really deeply moving. So that memory sticks with me along with many others. 
I, I just want to close by saluting uh, today's Glee Club, Glee Clubbers. I mean, a great joy for me was that when my son Tajin, uh, class of 20, came to Princeton, he joined the Glee Club. And uh, I just was so thrilled to be able to come and listen to as many concerts as I could, including one on tour in, in Bilbao when you guys were in Bilbao. And I was just blown away by the musicianship. Uh, Gabriel's, of course, we knew from the SPEM reunions, um, but I saw it in rehearsal, I saw it in, in the concerts, and then your, your incredible sight reading, tone quality blend, all of which have really lifted the Glee Club to a, to a whole different level even than, than we had in our time. So uh, thank you to all you current Glee Clubs for taking what a really joy-filled Glee Club tradition and, and lifting it to new heights of mu musicianship. Thanks. Thanks so much, Halsey. Tossing it over now to Elizabeth. Hi. Um, I'm Elizabeth Grosh, 06 Alto. Um, I would argue that uh, real altos are also in high demand in choirs. Um, so it's not just tenors, because, um, you know, a lot of times, like our section is just full of you know, sopranos um, who've been upgraded. Um, however, <laughs> um, so I came into Glee Club as a freshman, um, really being an instrumentalist, um, you know, until, until college. And I thought I was just going to sing a couple hours a week. Um, and singing then became what I did at Princeton. Um, I also sang in chamber choir um, and I was a cats and jammer and I, did a number of other things. And it all started really with Glee Club. And Glee Club holds a special place in my heart because it was the place I really got to do those big oratorios. Like, you know, we did both um, St. John and St. Matthew um, Bach um, during my four years. And, you know, especially the closing um, chorale of St. Matthew was like one of, remains one of my favorite pieces ever. And it just felt like a you know, it, it was a way to close out my um, singing experience at Princeton because um, I did it senior year. And it was just like a really moving um, and emotional moment um, to be singing that amazing work um, with such a wonderful choir. Um, the other thing that was always, I think my favorite part of Glee Club um, was the football songs. It's still, they still are because they were the thing that made um, the experience still connected to like a broader tradition um, of Princeton um, that was bigger than, you know, the year and the group that we were singing with um, and also bigger than just Glee Club itself. It was a connection to the entire spirit of the university. Um, and I, I still love coming back and singing them. Um, and I'm really sad that we can't this year. Um, and I also really, there was a, uh, another uh, guy in my class, Drew Fornarola, 06, who wrote some sort of a takeoff on the football songs. Um, Drew also wrote for Triangle. Um, it's called The Orange Bubble. And if you guys can find it um, in your archives, it's a fun one. Um, kind of makes fun of, you know, the other schools um, as we tend to do. But um, it's, a, it's a newer, fresher take on all of it, too. Um, and with that, I just want to say um, I love so much what has happened with Glee Club um, since I was out of it for the past 15 years. Um, I, I, you guys are sounding amazing. Um, and I think it's incredible that, um, Gabriel, that you've managed to put together, you know, these virtual choir projects involving alumni. I'm really grateful for it. And I think it's really important that, you know, you've managed to make um, what is a very odd like year of school into something that seems very meaningful and very rewarding for the students um, who've gone through it. Um, so a big locomotion to you <laughs> and to the class of 2021. I can't believe I'm saying that, but um, best of luck to everybody and I hope to see you in the future in person. Thanks so much for that. All right, next up we have Sylvia. Hello, I'm Sylvia Stevenson, now Stevenson Edelman, thanks to the Delaware uh, DMV um, and <laughs> class of 76 and I see you, Terry and Josh. Um, and so uh, I loved singing for both Bill Trigo and Walter Nolner. And fun fact, my cousin later um, 
um, ended up with Walter Nolner's daughter. So I have little Nolner cousins. I guess they're not little anymore. So, <laughs> so I feel very connected to the Glee Club because of that. But, but given that I'm from the class of 76, um, that makes this my 45th reunion, uh, which we're calling Fortissimo, get it? Um, <laughs> and um, I feel that I, I can give everybody some advice from my, from my, uh, from my perch here um, at the 45th reunion. And uh, so I love singing at Princeton. I love being in the Tiger Lilies. I love being in Glee Club and Freshman Glee Club. Uh, I made the mistake of dropping out of Glee Club because I didn't have time to do all of that. Um, I should have made the time. I And then graduate school happened and babies happened. And it wasn't until my children were in uh, probably lower middle school that I got back to singing again. So I had the singing drought in my adult life. And I don't recommend that to anybody because it felt so good to be singing again when I started again. So my advice to all you is, is just do what you have to do to keep singing uh, no matter what. And that's all. Thanks so much, Sylvia. All right, next up we have um, Alex. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Alex, I'm class of 2011. So this is my 10th reunion. Um, Sylvia, I also made the mistake of dropping out of Glee Club, but I then came back my senior year and I'm so, so happy I did. I, um, similar to Elizabeth, came to campus a little more as having been an instrumentalist and singing was something I was interested in. And over my time at Princeton between Glee Club and the Nassoons, um, like singing became the thing I did. Um, and I'm so thankful for that, um, for the great concerts and just exposure to so many composers and, and masterworks that I just, I never knew before. I remember we did a concert exclusively of Baltic and Nordic composers. And I, I just hadn't known really any of them before. And now like they're some of my favorite composers. <laughs> um, and by coming back to the Lee Club that that allowed me to to kind of get um, to a level where I was able to kind of continue singing it after college. So keep keep music in your life. I will second that advice. Um, the one one memory I wanted to share was actually slightly after college, um, but just I think representative of how the Glee Club community goes on. Um, my first year out of college, I was teach I had a teaching job in a small town in France, which was great. Can't complain about living in a small town in France. But uh, from the Princeton community, it was suddenly very isolating being just in this little town by myself, and. Um, I remember hearing the wonderful news that Glee Club, all my friends um, were coming and they were touring to Paris. And I, it was just so exciting to me. And I, I took a train up for the weekend and I saw them in concert and they sounded amazing. And I think Glee Club continues to sound better and better every year. Um, I, I went to the, a concert a few years ago with my mom and we had to get tickets in advance because it was sold out. And I honestly don't think Lee Club ever sold out while I was there. So, so kudos, congratulations and uh, keep going strong. Thanks so much for sharing that, Alex. Next up we have uh, Polly. Hi everyone. I just is such a pleasure to see um, all the faces and also just the common themes over all of these years. I'm class of 90, 1981, so this is my 40th reunion, and there's a few of us on today who were part of that same cohort. Um, when I came to Princeton in 1977, I was a sports nut, and I played um, field hockey and lacrosse. Um, I also sang with freshman singers with Bill Trigo that first year. Um, but sports in college just weren't the same kettle of fish for me as they were in high school, mostly I think because I just wasn't as good as a lot of people. Um, and I was a little intimidated by these, you know, superstar athletes who are clearly going to take up all the spots on the varsity for the next four years. And so it, it wasn't a very hard decision when I injured my knee uh, spring term to kind of use that as good cover to say, I'm going to switch and I'm going to move from, from sports to singing. And um, it was just the best decision I ever made at Princeton. Um, first of all, I got to reconnect with my elementary school buddy, Aline Russell Pearson, who's also on the line. We hadn't been together in high school, but we reconnected at Princeton and we were both in the Glee Club and she was the social chairman. And so we had really good parties. Um, 
And another thing was we got to wear a costume that was, it was really worthy of reunion garb. I think that um, Professor Nolner was kind of just wanting to get us used to this crazy looking stuff for when we came back for reunions. Because um, I remember the summer before sophomore year when we started Glee Club, sewing my concert dress, which we all had to do back then with my mother. And um, it really, we were not ready for, <laughs> for Vogue magazine. They were A-line dresses with a V-neck and they had, they were out of black polyester and they were trimmed in orange, you know, at, at every, you know, the V and in the sleeves. It, it had, um, it was sleeveless, but then you wore a collared white long sleeve shirt under it. And, and the fabric had the kind of sheen to it that you, um, that it, it didn't look intentional, but it was kind of shiny nonetheless. And um, there were a few times, I think, in other halls, not, not what we called Alexander Hall back then, because the lighting was good there, but we're in halls where the lighting was bad, it just picked up on that sheen. And I think we looked like, you know, a big mass of asphalt or something after a rain sometimes. <laughs> but, um, but fashion aside, we just had an amazing experience, as all of you have been saying, uh, singing together. The Masterworks, um, Walter Nolner was our conductor. And um, I was looking at his dates the other day and, and he started in 1958. So that's right about when those of us in my cohort were born, 1958, 1959 was when he started directing the Glee Club and he didn't retire until 1992. And that's about when all of us were having our first children. My daughter's 30 now and she was born in 1991. So he spanned a whole generation. Um, and uh, many of us showed up for his retirement celebration, even though it was 10 years after we had graduated. So I loved, I loved um, singing with him. I loved the serious music, the goofy music. And I think it really was the incredible feeling of working so hard not to stand out. Now, to get to Princeton, and I'm sure it's still true, but back then, maybe especially as women, I don't know, in those early years, but standing out was what we learned how to do. So what we were trained to do, we were programmed to do all the way from elementary school into high school. And I remember I really felt transformed singing with the Glee Club where I was focused on making my voice disappear into the blend of all of our voices. And it was really a transformational feeling. It was just magnificent. And um, I've continued to love singing ever since, thanks to the Glee Club. Um, another favorite thing about our singing were the trips. And in our era, we went to Jamaica one spring break, Mexico on another one. And then the summer between our junior and senior years, which was 1980, we did an around the world tour. And we raised money for tickets on Pan Am. Most of you won't remember that airline, but <laughs> and it allowed you to go um, around the world for $1,100. And you could take an unlimited number of flights as long as you kept going in the same direction. But uh, you could have one flight, which you went backwards in the other direction, but no more than one. So all the logistics I remember of planning our flights and where we were going to stay was, was really complicated and fun. Um, we stayed with alumni almost everywhere and sang some concerts on our own, but most of them were with other university choruses. And they started out in San Francisco, went on to Hawaii, Hong Kong, uh, Tokyo and Osaka in Japan, New Delhi in India and also to what was then called Canton, now uh, Guangzhou in China. And, and this was 1980, China had just opened its doors to tourists for the first time in the very late 1970s. So it was really quite an experience. And I was president of the Glee Club at the time. And so I got to conduct Old Nassau at the end of each of our concerts on the tour. And after the Canton concert, Professor Nolner told me that I was definitely the youngest Western female conductor to have ever conducted in China. And uh, of course, I've had no bigger claim to fame uh, since than, than that. So it, it's just been you know, a total pleasure to sing and, and more recently to, to participate in some of the singing that you've organized, Gabriel, um, and also to attend some of the amazing concerts of the current Glee Club and just reiterating what several people have said, you just have taken it to a new level. And even the little video thing just now, you know, I saw, I was tearing up listening to the quality of your singing and, I saw other people on the screen who were as well. So thank you all. This is just wonderful. Thanks so much, Polly. Next up, we have Paul Flowerman. Hey, everyone. Uh, I'm from the great class of 1971, and I am now one of the uh, older groupies of the contemporary Princeton Glee Club, which is absolutely the best we have ever been. And 
my favorite concert of the contemporary Glee Club and my all time favorite Princeton Glee Club concert bar none was the December 2017 concert with the Octavists. As a basso profundo, I was totally blown away, not merely by the individual performances of the Octavists, but the remarkable ensemble, S-A-T-B-O, that the, the group generated. It was unique, professional, magnificent, life-changing. And then I, I had a, a chance even more up close to get to know the Glee Club when uh, you folks came down to uh, Naples, Florida in February of 2020. And I had the opportunity to uh, host six members of the Brotherhood of Basses, absolutely wonderful uh, young musicians and, and people. Uh, and I've kept in touch uh, with several. I joined the Glee Club, the freshman new freshman Glee Club with Bill Trigo in September of 1967. Oh. Bill had a magnificent baritone bass voice and he was a great mentor and example. He helped me get voice lessons and uh, really got me going. And that was followed uh, by three years uh, with the impresario Walter Nolner, AKA Jolly Wally, three years in search of sopranos and altos. Uh, really all over, up and down the, the, the East Coast, uh, including a, a wonderful trip uh, with the Smith Glee Club to Mexico in 1970, or maybe it was uh, uh, late 1969, I forget. Uh, but uh, one of the experiences I remember from that trip was being in Jalapa, Mexico, an evening performance after a wonderful dinner with the mayor and, and all kinds of town uh, dignitaries. Uh, we performed uh, and half of the group had Moctezuma's revenge. And so we carried on, uh, but uh, I was busy escorting members of uh, our group off of the risers and into the back room. And we were trying to keep up a quorum to keep it going. And uh, it was, it was uh, quite, Wonderful. Uh, so it was really quite a, a wild trip. And the, my experience, my four years at Princeton really set the table for a, a lifetime of choral singing. It gave me a, a good foundation. Uh, I'm also an alumnus of the Harvard Glee Club and the Harvard Alumni Glee Club. And I'm making a pitch here that Princeton should have also an alumnus glee club, I think would be an absolutely marvelous thing. I was also the president of the community choir. I cannot wait for the next spin in Allium. And guys, I, I love you to pieces. You are the best. Paul, Thank thanks you. so much for sharing that, Paul. Oh, did I cut you off? I'm done. You're done. Okay. <laughs> thanks so much for sharing. Um, next up, we have Alexandra. Okay. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Alexandra Blaskin from the class of 01, and I actually had no idea that I was going to be speaking today because I only just found out about this event. Um, I guess I must have fallen off the list, um, and I hope that I can get back on. But thank you to my friend Connie from the class of 2000, <laughs> um, who, who helped me find this event. <laughs> I will, I will say just very shortly, because I had no idea again that I was speaking, that um, it was just such an amazing privilege to be um, in the Glee Club while I was there 20 years ago um, under the direction of Richard Tanyuk. He was um, just really, really fantastic, very exacting. Um, and I know uh, in the chat, everybody's been talking about their conductors and I just wanted to throw in some good words for Richard because he was fantastic. And um, we had so many, so many amazing pieces that we sang. Uh, I was just trying to find some of my old music and I was able to find my Carmina score for female voices. Little throwback there to uh, 1999. Um, that was super fun, obviously a famous piece. Um, and we did, what else did we do? The Bach B minor mass, um, Elijah. Mm. Um, we went on so many great trips and I think one of my best memories is, um, when we went to California, Emily Coster, you were sharing a hotel room with me at one point. <laughs> I remember that well. 
And um, at one point I had all the Glee Club members like sleeping in my house because I'm from California. And that was just super crazy and terrific. Um, Your parents are rock stars that they let us do that. <laughs> Yeah, well, fortunately we had enough space, but people were definitely on the floor. Um, super fun, great memories. And uh, so that's that's all I'll say, um, but, but thanks for putting this together and letting me speak. Thanks so much, Alexandra. Next up we have Jane. Hello everyone. I'm Jane from the great class of 96 and it's my 25th and it's wonderful to see so many tiger friends. I, I don't know if there are any other 96ers out there. Do we have any other 96ers out there? I don't think so. Shout it out. If you're class of 96, I want to hear you. No? Okay. Well, that's all the more reason why we have to, you know, really tout 96. So um, actually, Gabriel, you're you're an honorary 96er, right? So we, we, we'll consider it that. Um, anyway, cheers. Yeah, to sort of, yeah. <laughs> <Woo> <laughs> happy, happy reunions to everybody. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank Gabriel, um, number one, for asking me to speak today. Um, it's just, it's such an honor and privilege to um, have the the opportunity to connect with him, work with him. You continue to blow me away, Gabriel, um, with your extraordinary leadership of this group um, on every level. Um, and Princeton really could not be more fortunate. I think I speak on behalf of all of us in the entire Princeton community, the alumni community and otherwise to just say that um, having you at the helm is um, the best. And a huge shout out to the current Glee Club, um, you rock. So on that note, I, I just, I wanna share a little bit. I mean, my, my singing life at Princeton was and will always be uh, such an important piece of who I am. Uh, along with uh, being in the, the wonderful Glee Club, I was in the program in musical performance. I was a catch and jammer. Um, for those of you who are uh, younger um, uh, al uh, alumni uh, and students, um, we did not call ourselves the KJs back then, um, but uh, we still love the KJs. Um, I loved my time in the Glee Club. Um, it was just the collaboration, singing the big pieces, the masses. It was just an amazing experience to kick off my Princeton experience freshman year and remain part of the group um, in, in the most active of ways uh, throughout my time at Princeton. Um, I, like Elizabeth, loved the football songs. Um, they still um, just every time I, I hear them or sing them, I, I can just picture myself um, with the utmost tiger spirit in Richardson and um, meowing all over the place. And it just, it's, to me, it, it just really resonates. So Elizabeth, I'm with you. Um, I'll never forget uh, auditioning for the Cats and Jammer. Speaking of the Cats, um, we were you know, asked to speak a little bit about our, our holistic singing experiences. I just, um, I have to say that the, the singing in process, uh, uh, you know, getting getting sung in by the Cats and Jammers, uh, my first, I don't think it was one of my first week or two at, at Princeton, uh, was quite the experience. I remember, I remember ticket to ride coming up the uh, the entryway of Patton Hall um, as they, they entered and then we, we went up to Blair Arch and then I saw Richardson and I thought, oh my goodness, that's where I'm gonna be singing with the Glee Club. And just the whole singing experience was just so unbelievable. And, um, you know, it to me, um, there's you can't take one and separate it from the other. It was one holistic experience. I love singing the art sings, preparing and performing my recitals and music at noon concerts and the atelier project and so much more. Um, the experiences were amazing. But what I'd like to highlight uh, is that 25 years later, uh, what still moves and inspires me is the essence of the people who touched my life at Princeton. Uh, those in the music world, as well as those who might not have necessarily been in the music world, but whose voices really helped shape my own voice, um, both on and off the stage, my professors, my friends, um, the wonderful staff uh, in, the, in the dining halls, the student center, all over campus. And um, 
one, one example of how music went well beyond the stage or the classroom for me at Princeton um, was that the fall after I graduated, uh, prior to going on tour with the New York City Opera National Company, I student taught at Princeton High through the teacher preparation program. And while I was living in town that semester with one of my best friends who was also in the Glee Club, I don't know if you're on Jess, um, just Godfrey Wong, class of 96 also, she had also been in the Glee Club and um, the orchestra and was a captain jammer. And we had the best time living on Nassau Street. Um, we were part of the teacher preparation program. Um, so during the day we were student teaching and then at night we would go to seminar um, on campus. But I'll never forget when I got that, um, I don't think it was an email. I don't know how much we emailed back then, uh, but we were in contact by phone, I think, with Bill Trigo and his wonderful wife, Patty, and they invited us to their home for dinner. And it was such a magical evening. Um, I just want to highlight that memory. I was so grateful to continue to keep in touch with, um, with the Trigos. Um, their support definitely inspired me as I took off on a vocal career, a professional vocal career, and their love um, is still infused in my heart. Um, so on my 25th at this wonderful virtual Glee Club reunion, I'd like to honor their memory as a blessing in my life. Um, sending tiger cheers and best wishes to all of you. Uh, thanks again, Gabriel and Emily uh, for organizing this and for all you do, you're extraordinary. And three cheers for uh, all of you and the Princeton Glee Club, hip hip. Thank you so much, Jane, that was amazing. Um, so I have one more message to share with you all from uh, an alum from a major reunion year. And that is our former president, Lillian Shu, who unfortunately could not be here today, but she did send us a lovely video. So I'm going to share that with you now. Hello, this is Lillian Chu. I am class of 2016, so this would have been my fifth reunion. I'm so sad not to be singing SPEM. Um, now in Richardson, but formerly in East Pine, it was one of my favorite parts of reunions. But I think as I reflect on my time in Glee Club, two of my favorite memories, the first night of getting picked up and having people bang on my door freshman year, I'm feeling like part of this larger community. That was kind of my, initial clue in at how special this group of people would be. But my second kind of going full circle was my senior year, we were in South Africa and it was just the most incredible tour that I've ever been on musically. Not that I've been on that many, but we were singing uh, one of our, in Fundo, one of the songs that had been commissioned as part of our tour and we were singing it in this restaurant after like a series of amazing performances and the staff just went crazy um we were all standing up people were lifting chairs on top of their heads i can't remember why but like all of our faces were painted um with cool designs and i just remember having such a serotonin high that evening and I as I talk about it still remember it so fondly and it was just one of those nights where the energy levels are seriously unmatched and unparalleled and you feel truly alive and I felt so connected to everyone in the Glee Club to everyone we were singing for in the restaurant and so so grateful and I want to thank Thank Gabriel and the Glee Club for all making that possible. Happy reunions, everyone. Thanks so much, Lillian, if you're out there watching this recording after the fact. Thanks to everybody uh, from all of these major reunion years um, for spending your time on Zoom with us. I'm sure some of you have had way too much Zoom in your lives this year. So we just really appreciate you tuning in to share these wonderful memories with us. Um, I'm gonna pass it back to Gabriel now. Thank you, Emily. Hi folks. Um, before I go on, I just want to give a quick shout out actually to, to my colleague, Emily Sung. Um, um, not least for for running today's event so beautifully but but um for for all of the for all of the seamlessness of today's event you can translate that to the into the entire year emily has been 
um, hand in hand with me all year working on all the things that we've, that we've done with the Glee Club. And um, Emily is um, going to be a world class choral leader herself. She's pursuing her doctorate at USC and um, she is she is a major force in the world of music and um, you all better watch out for her name. Um, there's, a, there's been some mention over the last uh, 30 minutes of the tour to Paris and Alex Oliet was, was talking about attending that, that concert in Paris and I just wanted to say that amongst many incredible things that Emily has done for this Glee Club, Emily, tour, Emily planned, plotted every single second of that tour to, to Paris. This was before the days when, when we could afford to have a company come and do the come and do the work for us so we had to do it ourselves and, and Emily did every single bit of it and, um, and I'm quite sure there are, there, are, there are lots of people in this room right now who um, who made a generous donation to allow us to actually go on that tour so so th thanks to the to the generosity of many in this room and to the ingenuity of one particular person that that tour was a success. Emily is uh, just been with us for just for this year she um that's one of the few benefits i guess of a, of a pandemic is that she can work for a call program remotely of course she's going to be going back uh, full time to her studies and her work in california next year so um so this is really emily's last uh formal weekend um in our company so i just want to say emily sung um you've been incredible this year it's been wonderful to have you with us and um and and i salute you thank you emily um uh, friends, it was it's uh, tough to know when the right moment to share this news with you is, um, but it's clear to me that I, I I've, that I should share it at some point today, and now feels like the right moment. Um, um, a beloved member of the class of 1976, Charlene Cosman, um, who many of you will know because she was not just a, a, a fiercely loyal Glee Clubber, but also a fiercely loyal Cats and Jammer, and the Cats and Jammers have had a have had a a lot of love today. Um, uh, Charlene passed away yesterday. And uh, I think lots of you will know that Charlene had been very ill for some years. Um, and so this news may not be the, the biggest surprise to you, but of course it, it's, it, it's nonetheless tragic. Um, Charlene um, never missed a reunion, I think up until 2018. Um, she was always first to respond to everything. She was incredibly supportive to me when I first arrived here in 2010. Um, I was lucky to get to know her, going to visit her, her choir in Long Island, um, spending the weekend with her. And uh, um, she was, uh, I can guarantee that that had she been um, in good enough health, she would have been the first person to, to step up and record her alto part for the virtual choir things that we've done this month. Um, and even that very last reunion, I can I can remember in 2018, it was a huge struggle for her to to be in Richardson for Feminalium, and yet she was there, um, an absolutely wonderful human being. I know we're going to miss her very much. Um, so I'm sorry to pass on that sad news, but uh, I, I know that it's it's important um, for us all to remember her at this moment. Um, I hope that this. Um, in a sense, is, is a is a, a good moment of reflection up, upon which to now premiere the video that so many of you have been working so hard over the last few weeks to contribute to. Um, this is going to be, it's almost a world premiere. It's not quite a world premiere because as you know, um, Annalise Roy wrote this piece simultaneously for, for the for the choir that the the school choir that she that she uh, conducts in Canterbury in England and then and then also dedicated it to us. So this will be the United States premiere of, of a wonderful piece by Annalise Roy, I Reached to Reconcile Us, featuring the voices of the Princeton University Glee Club and some 50 alumni of the Glee Club as well. And uh, it's been a um, remarkably easy job actually to, to, to put this together because you all sang so incredibly beautifully on it. So there's no fiddling or editing or pitch shifting going on here. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's reaching your ears just as it reached mine. So I do hope that, uh, that you enjoy this premiere. Emily, if I could ask, if I could turn over to you now so that you could share this, um, this video with us. Oh, Gabriel, I don't have yes. the video. I think ah. you have to share it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Right. Okay. Hold on a second, everybody. One and only glitch today. Um, I have it. And there it is. And okay. Okay, Emily, do I just do this by sharing my screen? Yeah. Yeah. And then remember to click share sound. Yep. 
Okay, here we go, everybody.
there you go everybody i hope you enjoyed it um we're going to um we're going to show it again of course at the concert on sunday afternoon at the hand in hand along with um the other piece that so many of you have contributed to which is tim keeler class of 11's new arrangement of of, uh, of a mashup of of uh, of songs from harvard yale and princeton um because we're at five o'clock now um Emily and I have, 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 have agreed that we're going to have a little, just a, a slight uh, a change of plan now. So we're going to finish um, the formal part of this meeting now by singing Old Nassau. And then after that, we're going to, we're going to move into breakout rooms um, for those of you who are, who are free post five o'clock. So I hope, that, I hope that makes sense to everybody. And those of us in the current Glee Club, we're going to have to, um, to, to make preparations now for the, um, for the uh, open mic, for the cabaret, for the seniors, which we're having at 5.15. So um, Emily, if you could perhaps now spotlight Paul, Paul Flamman, class of 71 in his 50th uh, reunion. Paul's gonna lead us in Old Nassau. Um, the, the best way for us to do this, folks, is, is for us to join in lustily and to you know and 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 to, to show full spirit on the video camera but to mute ourselves otherwise the um the the, the sound really doesn't work so 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 if we could just make sure our, our buttons are muted but um but but contribute fully in a visual way um as well as in uh, as well as in, in a way that, that that makes sense to us um in terms of the audio and paul um if we can hand over to you to lead us in the singing of old nestle Tune every heart and every voice, bid every care withdraw. Let all with one accord rejoice in praise of old Nassau. In praise of old Nassau, we sing hurrah, hurrah, hurrah. Our hearts will give while they shall live three cheers for old Nassau. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, Paul. Thank you to everybody who spoke today. Thank it's been wo so wonderful to hear your memories. Um, thank you to Emily for putting it all together. Thank you, Hannah and uh, Ishani and uh, Corinna and Catherine for your for sharing your thoughts with us today as well. Um, please, everybody, we would love to see you again at five o'clock on Sunday for Hand in Hand. Um, I hope you've all got the. Um, that's right. Emily's just posted it in the chat now. Um, and now I think is the right time, Emily, if you could now Emily's going to sort of press a magic button and we're all going to be dispersed now into into breakout rooms for uh, for hangouts, which can go on for us for as uh, for as, as long as we want them to. So this is the uh, the conclusion of the formal part of today's meeting. Um, much love to everybody. Many thanks and goodbye. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. So I'm going to open up breakout rooms. I've just labeled them by um, by reun by major reunion names. So there's the fifth, the tenth, the fifteenth, twentieth, and so on. You're welcome to use these rooms. Um, you're also welcome to just hang out here in the main room and and gab away. Uh, this room is yours, so you can just hang out as long as you like. To find the breakout rooms, if you haven't done this before, I've set them so that they are uh, that you can choose which ones you want to go to. So if you go to one and you're like no one's here, <laughs> then you can pick a different one and go there. Just look for the breakout rooms button at the bottom of your screen. If you click on it, then you'll see all of the, the rooms listed there and you can uh, pick one to go to. Um, just so you know, once you're in a breakout room, you cannot chat with people who are elsewhere. So just, just so you know. Enjoy and thank you all so much for spending this hour with us. This has just been so special and so lovely. Thank you so much for your time. Emily, we have to keep the room open, don't we? The main room open, yes? Yes, that's yes, our problem, okay. though. All right. It's great to see everybody.